What did you know of um, Ricky Gervais before being cast? Nothing, not much. I'd, I'd only really knew him from a, from the 11 o'clock show. Yeah. Where, yeah. And he hadn't been very popular on that because he'd taken over from the sort of the Ali G slot, which was, I think, quite a bit of a difficult difficult shoes to fill. Uh, and I think he was a bit misunderstood because he sort of, he, he was he went he was on as himself as Ricky Gervais for being quite sort of nasty and vicious, yeah. uh, and I think it went people didn't quite get it or didn't quite come across as how he wanted it to, so he didn't have a great sort of reputation when when we started doing the office. So yeah, I didn't know much much about him really. I mean, I um I'd watched the eleven o'clock show quite rigorous uh, religiously, um, and. Yeah. I loved it for his cameos in it when he'd come out in front of a screaming pool yeah. and sort of talk about, you know, I can't say it in this day and age, but that sort of stuff, yeah. that, that sarcastic, um, utterly just uh, not hateful, but um, offensive sort of things. Yeah. I loved that. That was, that was the kind of humour I was really into. And I think, you, yeah, you either get it or you are wrong. And lots of people just... I could I couldn't really see the uh I couldn't really understand the negativity towards it because of understanding it, I guess. I think it was more the fact that Ali G had gone and it sort of left a big hole in the show. And because it was a completely different style to Ali G, people just thought, well, you know, Ali G was subtle and kind of nuanced, whereas this was very much the opposite. It was kind of in your face and kind of a sledgehammer to a walnut type comedy. So I think it was the fact that it was so different that three people, they weren't kind of ready for that. They wanted the old Ali G back, but, you know, you yeah. can't have everything. Yeah.